okay. uh, this is Suresh, I am the CSR team in CSE department. Today I am talking about the Linux installation and Linux basics commands. How many people knows the Linux already experience? So many people knows, right? So already have to install the Ubuntu, right? So if you knows, just listen to me that other people don't know, I will tell you that how to install that. So uh, today I am talking about the Ubuntu 18.4 LTS. So what are the features is available for 18.4? So previously you are using for 16.4 LTS everybody. So how many people use it for 18.4? So you started, right? Okay. First I am telling about that 18.4 features we have to update at the 5 years of 2023 available of the updates and supports. Then the stable of kernel is 4.15 is updated in for the latest one. Then update of the Libra Office 6.0. Then the the latest things for that geonome for the text path environment and the faster to improve the boot updated. Then I will tell you for the minimum system requirements. So if you want the minimum system requirement, minimum the 2.2 GB RAM and the dual core processor and the 25 GB hard disk space is enough. If you installed DVD or USB, how to use for the installation and all. If you want to download Ubuntu, how to two types. You have to directly download on the Ubuntu site. Otherwise, you have to go for IATB, FTP site also. Okay, if you that link, you can easy to, within a minute, you have to download that more than 1 GB file. Okay. I will tell you that. After that, if you want to bootable USB or DVD, how to write the DVD, how to use word two application startup disk creator or you then boom you have to download from google it is easy to download it once you download that and then update at netboon then installations i will tell you one by one the step by step for the only installation you have the two types try ubuntu or install ubuntu without you have to install you can you choose for the try ubuntu i will have to choose for the install ubuntu if you click on the install Ubuntu, there is the option for the select the language properly, then for the installation type. They have the two types, normal installations, otherwise the minimal installation. Mostly used people use it for normal installation. Then if you want to choose the third party software, you have to click on, then go ahead. Then this is the main, main important of the steps. So some people are using for that two OS, for multiple OS you are using that. For example, if you want to use Windows, if you want to use multiple OS, first you have to install the first two Windows, then how to choose for Ubuntu. Then how to use that? If you have the only single OS, you have to go for directly for RSDs, whatever you want to install it. But if you want to use multiple OS, you have to choose something else, then you have to give the proper It is for your what are the hard disk you connected. If you have connected for two or more hard disk, is displayed properly here. Then, this is the file system. How to you create it, the file system? Most probably how you are using that. Just you click it for that Ubuntu. Just you click the slash folder. You have to click directly. Most of the people use like that only. But you don't go like that. First, how you create? You give the boot file system and home and slash and where swap area. What is the use of give the swap area? Anybody knows that? Sorry? You have the, you have the virtual RAM. You have, to, you have your system have 2 GB or 4 GB. But you want to increase the virtual RAM, you have to give the swap area. Then you have, for example, you have the 4 GB RAM. They have give for 8 GB, your system will be performance is very good. Then for what are the different with home and slash? Anybody knows? Home folder and slash folder. Yeah, it's a root folder. What is the difference in root and home? Yeah, for example, if you give a root folder for everything, for a, how your system is corrupted, you not get the any file for the user file and all. If you separate your give for the home folder, for the user files, everybody store on the home folder. If you Windows is for the your Ubuntu is corrupted, you can just have to reinstall only for Ubuntu file, then your home folder is safe. For user file, everybody is safe in that. So most probably you have to follow the step, your system will be good and performance will also good. So what is the use of your using separate for the where folder? So what are the where folder is involved? So what for example you are using for that web service and all, right? 
for example, web server, how to install the Apache and WAMP and all, you have to everything store on the WAMP folder, or WAP folder only. So, if you give the separate for the your browser and web server is will be performance is good. That's why we separately we provide for the web folders. Okay. Then we have to select one by one. For example, you have the what are the ESTs? Do you have the any file systems in Ubuntu? What are the file system is knows? What are the file system in Windows? NTFS then only only NTFS only FAT32s yeah for the window for the Linux you have to choose for the EST file system only why you want to choose for Windows first to install the Windows after that how to install Ubuntu if I install Ubuntu is possible how to install Windows why what is the reason how anybody knows So, because the main problem is for the file system, for the NTFS you have to readable form for any OS, for ES only for readable only for Linux. If you install Linux file is not able to open on the Windows systems, but win for the Linux you have to open for the NTFS format. For example, if you installed Linux, you have to open the Windows file, whatever the system program files also have to open it see that. But in Linux you can't able to see the Linux file, okay. Then you have to select the file size. You have to select for one by one the primary and beginnings, then boot. What are the mount pointer for the slash folder or where and whatever is separate? You have to select one by one. This is for the home folder. I separated then root folder and swap area. If you select swap area, there is no for the file system because it is the virtual RAM. Once you once you create it fully, then you go for that next project. So when you create it automatically for that continue, you select the language. What is the use of you select the language? Everybody thinking about only for language you are select. For the main purpose, if you select the language, when you go updated, that time you have to select that nearest to your server in Ubuntu server. If you want to update anything, it is if you select for US, you have to select for that. US server only connected. So, most probably you select proper locations. Then you have to select the username and the computer name. The computer name is you know the very well is the host name. If you give the host name properly, then only you connected for the terminal via. Somebody you give for the hyphen and underscore and like that, then you are not able to give the proper connect connectivity. So, you give the host name is properly, then username and password everything you give properly then. Then how to install Ubuntu? Okay. So after that, once you install the Ubuntu, what are the things you have to do it? Do you know after you install it, go to open the terminal, how to update the latest te kernel and all. Okay. Once you update the command, how to open? What are the EFW and do you know that EFW? It is for the firewall. For the system firewall, you have to enable it. Then only the system will be safe. So you have to use for the sudo esw and enable. Then check the status. It is enabled or not. Otherwise, you have to go for GUI mode. Okay. If you have to install the command of sudo apt-get install gfw on y. If you install it, how do you have get it for the GUI mode? You can connect, control whatever anything. For the EFW mode, what is the use of it? The firewall. If you want to particularly, you allow the some particular IPs. If you want to open only for particular for TCP/IP or FTP, UDP, whatever you want to allow for that, you can control from that firewall. So you noted that command is very useful and in features. So after install the GE mode, you have to get it that application like that. You have to kind of allow and deny whatever you want port. So, it's for the supporting things. Most of the people are using Windows. So, the most applications available on the open source also. For example, VLC is available in Windows also, the GIMP. Everybody using for the Photoshop. For the same alternate software is available of GIMP also. Pint of the paint. Then Calibre, you say it's, it's Adobe, whatever you want to use. The Chromium browsers and the screen recorder tools and lightweight package of install that Debian like that stuff. It's a music software. 
So, I give the some sample example lesson. This is for the Umundi installations. So, basic commands. So, everybody using the basic commands of Umundu, right? So, open the everybody know how to open the terminal, right? So, on how to create the directory. If I are using for MK directory and source file, for the what are the source name, you have to create it for the created directory. If you want to change directory, you have to use for cd slash whatever you want. For example, you have the sums where www.html, whatever you want the file is. If you want to immediately change, you have to cd slash the file going to directly for the root folders. Then print the forking directory. If you want to what are the file current directory, you want to see that you type the pwd command. If you go for directly on what are the directory will be displayed. What are the list file and directories. If you want to use ls command, you have to leave for the what are the file and all. Then print. If you have the doubt, you have don't know about that help and then you can use for the man command. It is will useful for what are the command. If you have the doubt, any command you can use for the terminal man. What are the command will be there. Type it, it is explained properly. Then the search query you are the man pages. Is the appropriate the copy you have to display the what are that commands and all. Then how to create the files. How to create the file command is for types. How many files you want created, you have to one by one you have created. Do you have any other command of created files? VI. Then and then Vim. Yeah, then lot of command we have that. You can use it that. If you want to remove the file, you have to use for the command of rm, then file name. If I want to, one file I have created for, remove that. If I want to multiple file deleted, how will you use that? Yeah, good. Then for the, I want to create, remove the directory, I can use for the rm slash rv and directory. What is the meaning of rv? Regressives. Okay, good. Now what is the move? There is a command of the move directories. If we want to one directory to another directory or if we want to connect it one file to another file, so use for the move command. Okay, MB. So second for the read, search and find. If we want to print the file content, how we are using that? I have to use cat or the file name. Okay, it is very useful. Then read and reach the text file. For example, I have the one file have the huge content. I want to, for example, is the thousand lines is there. When I use for the touch command, it is going for last only. So at that time you have using for less. Then what are the file name? Is by coming for the what are the window size? It display one by one. Okay. What is the if I want to, for there is one file. I have the few huge file lines. If I want to particular lines, I want to print it. That time, what are the command you have to use it for head? For the what are the file line, the file type. Okay. If you use that command, you have to use for that what are the file will be printed. Okay. If you want to last line, if I want to print it. So I like that. If I want to middle of the file line, we want for particular line I want. How will print it? Somebody knows. So you can give for the for 200 lines, you can give for the head and order the file line number, then you print it directly. Okay. So how to find the directories? If I want to have the bin folder, I have the lot of files. I want to particular file I want to find in for terminal. That time you have to use find source for the folder name. What is the file name? the size and all. If I give like that, all file will be displayed. If I, I have the PDF file as the more PDF file, but I want to display only for the more than 5 MB file. So that time you have to use for the size and plus 4 MB. For the file size you are displayed directly, you can find the file. How many people using grub? No, right? What is the use of grub? search the particular file inside if you use for example you have the same like you have the particular you have the whole lines of the file if you want a particular word for example for this file if i have the password in the folder there is lot of user is there 
but i want to know the who, who is the nobody users like if i use in grub the what are the content then the file name if you displayed you want to display what are the things okay is so very useful of the grub command in your fit then what is the search regression in the directory there is, for example you have the for example your name is rajesh there are file is i don't know how many rajesh is there so i want to know i want to highlight that what the rajesh name in the file so that time you are using the grip and array what are the content you put it it is usually highlighted of what are the content in the search folder okay then pipe and the output of the applications same like if you want to the what are the file permission and all you have to use for ls and all then grip for the rewrite for the whole folder have the read and permission i don't know that but i want to rewrite permission for the folder that time you have using for the ls command then give for the grip in build then you have the content it is be display or that then user and permissions how you know do everybody use the who am i mean? it is for the current user who are using that current user right how to change the user already i am in the own user i want to change the username how you change it for example i am the rajesh i am the rajesh account i want to change that arjun account how do you change it anybody knows sorry no you have to change just as you then change the username hmm sorry anybody stand and tell me i don't know explain sorry if i want the if i want to change the user just you have to for su then change the username okay so automatically change the convert if you are in the root user you want to go for the normal user that time you see for su command then you have to change the username how all the logged and user there is two types how to check the logged users one command or type for w and this way another command no how to check the logged users what are the things there is another command of last if you type the last command you have the history of what are the things you have to display on the terminal and the files and folder permission i think most probably everybody knows the files and permissions okay for the read and for write and execute done okay if i want to change the permission of one folder that time i have to use for ch mode 775 for what rewrite read and execute read and execute read ah uh, read and execute so what are the combination that is 775 owners group others okay it is owners it is groups and others we have the destination if i want to change the permission it is have to give the ch mode the what are the file content permission time then how the which file you want to change it you can give directly if you want a regressive change mode for example if we give like that only for the folder only will be this change if you want the inbuilt subfolder you want to change you can give for the regressive for minus r then you have to use for the destination and give the slash it is automatically change for the all the subfolder also so let us say linux file permission of the user group for others change the owner permission the root user how to change the ownership if i want to the file name if i created the file name what are the file per ownership is available if i created one file for example i create for touch i create txt on the txt what is the file permission they given the so normally the normally they give for the current user for root and root okay for the what the current user you are using that that user it automatically for root or rajesh if i want to change the permission of ownership that time i have to use for ch1 and regressive then root whatever the user you want to change for you want to rajesh or the user or group whatever you want to change you can give the destination the file permission will be changed what is the use of the file permission will change for the main purpose access so my file i don't want to use other people so that i have to give the permission other people not able to open the file okay for the network related 
so how to know the how to the ping the ip right if i want to check that your another machine is working or not so you have to use the ping command then you type the directly your ip okay what is that c and 5 beyond the meaning of c and 5 anybody try this the c and 5 if i give the ping on the ip address is automatically pinging for continuously if we want to give the count on 5 for the five time only is pinging if i give for 10 it is giving for 10 times automatically the file execution stop that's why you using for c and 5 so if you want to check that ip address in your system you are using ip config everybody using the ip config what is the different in ip config you tell me that any other command in ip config possibilities so is if config only for the ip address is display that if you have the if config slash a some command if you are checking on the net there is lot of command so if we if, if using for if config you have to display that whole drivers list for the lan and wan and uh, wifi what are the ip address what are the drivers name everybody is display on that in the ip config okay so if you want to do- everybody download on your machines on the browser only if i want to terminal how to download the files that time you are using for wget so what is the meaning i know that you have to using for wget then you have to use for the link directly right so what is the meaning of the c the seeing mean for is a continuous for for example the file is automatically disconnected for the due to the internet failure the time using for minus c automatically get the resume that is download the file is for the that command so if you use for the remote command if you want to connect the remotely you are missing so most probably you are using ssh right so ssh that root and ip address so normally if you connected what are the problem is affected in ssh somebody knows what are the problem is affected when you connected in ssh security when you connected that problem is the security when you have to go remove the security then you connect it will be working properly other way how to check that your another machine is connected ssh okay then secure copy if you want to copy one machine to another machine that time for using for scp command if in scp on regressive that the source of the folder and the destination of your machines is the command of for the scp hyphen r for example stc the folder and root for your uh, remote machines then ip address for t- which folder you want to copy temporarily if i don't if i not give anything where will go to store it is home folders okay so attribution and monitoring if you know the file type directly give for the hyphen and file what file you want you can give that it's automatically displayed here then list of file directory and disk space how if you know system what are the file system is available in your hard disk then you give for df minus h what are the mount file what are the file is system is available is display on high directly so estimator file space on the usage what is the use of estimator file space on the usage anybody knows that the do you minus hyphen x for example you are copy to one machine to another machine the file size is 2 gb so when you copy the file you want to see that file is copied or not that time go to your directory do you minus h and hyphen and temporary you know the how many how much the memory copied your machines the file how many mem- percentage is copied so it easy to understand that command then check the memory of usage free minus what is the meaning of h it is for the human readable okay so check the memory of usage if you have the your system memory you can give directly for free minus m your ram speed what are the things what is the minus m hmm? you have tell me for the memory you have to give for g and h gb wise you are telling that m for mb okay check the all mounted file you have to use the mount command if you connected the extended hard disk or pen drive whatever you want you have to use the command you can know that what are the 
system is mounted in your machines okay if you have for example you connected the removal pen drive that time the pen drive is not display on your machine how we know that usb is connected or not that time use for mount you give for slash all automatically is mounted on your machines it is i think it little bit use of your life iitb networks how you are connected your internet in lab or your hostel or somewhere so there is two connection is available lan connection and iitb wireless connection if you want to use iitb wireless there is two connection if you want iitb wireless there is a site cc.iitbac.in you have to go that we have get the all the, all the information of the how to connect the iitb wireless on the normal connection you know you have the idea but how do how you know that ip address and all for the each and every lab there is separate ip address for the dns and all then then only knows you have to connect it right so first you want to connect it to iitb wireless so most of these will be available for 7 and 8 10 we have the one exe file in available as cc.iitb.ac.in okay if you go there you have to download the file in the windows you just to installation just to click on it automatically install for after installation i have the problem with windows 7 or 10 i don't have connected the iitb wireless so that time how using for how you are using that first you deleted the extension the wifi for already have installed the iitb wireless just you have to delete it how do you delete it you have to go for the iitb sorry wifi setting then wifi setting go to manage and manage networks it is display on the iitb wireless you just you delete it just forget it and all once you delete it is you have to connect it the manually just to go there open and sharing network in the windows go manage wireless networks then manually created your profile name the profile name you have to give for iitb hyphen wireless is for sensitive if you change anything not able to connect if everything is caps w also caps and the other thing is small if you type the iitb wireless name then go to select the connection settings select the security tab now authentication i have you choose for the peap okay then i have to change the setting of the remove the validate server of certificates and the configuration you have choose for eap and ms tab it is also available on cc.iitb ac.in you have to connect it once you connected the iitb asking for the ldap user id and password maybe they will give for your ldap user id you can connect directly for it is only for windows if you for the linux you can go for directly on network setting just to connect it it will be working on 100 percentage so most 90 50% is not working on iitb wireless windows you have to go for manual setting so most probably everybody saying i select the iitb wireless but i am not able to connect the internet what is the error i don't know so you have to follow the steps so proxy settings there is two type with proxy and without proxy with i am telling that first connection of the without proxy once you connected you go for the browser just type it internet.iitb.ac.in i will see you he asking for your ldap user id when you type the ldap user id then only your net is working otherwise you not get the internet okay the proxy setting another info ip allocations there is two type only for academic section and hostel side if you want to know the academic section that ip address is available on cc.iitb.ac.in internet is slow cd is like department ip address otherwise you go for if you, if you want to particularly csc department want the ip address detail if you go the csc.iitb.ac.in there is option is available wise floor wise for the each lab which ip you want to know that how to click on that for example i am that new csc building allocation the first floor if you click first floor the classroom via the ip address will be displayed for 101 ip address it is so you have to connect your system using the ip will give for the physical network then you have any query related you have to connect directly dbbsysad@csciitb.ac.in 
otherwise it's said at cac.ac.in you have the network related or uh, system related any queries you have to directly write the mail they will immediately give the response if you want anything related uh, then go for cc the website name is cc.iitb.ac.in otherwise cac.iitb.ac.in whatever everything is available on the both website and all if you want to download any software letters okay if you go ftp.iitb.ac.in this site is available all the open source software not for the open source and you have get it for the microsoft academic software and all but you need ldap accounts other thing open source everybody you get it for the ftp.iitb.ac.in only not for that you have get it for the matlab for example if you are in mechanical you have get it for the autocad and related every software is available with license also you have to download within a time within a second because it is connected to internet so the speed is very high so you, you don't want to wait for the internet download the speed and all okay thank you